Hello chess friends and welcome to Zadov Chess Channel and welcome to a very very special game that I've prepared for you today. It's again a great game played by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 14 engine and recently you have made several requests on my YouTube chess channel to your comments. First of all, what you wanted to see are some winning games where black is winning. We have recently covered only winning games for white but actually it's really hard to find some winning games for, for black in this top engine level. Basically in this top engine games you, black is only hoping for a draw, black is struggling for a draw actually white is always attacking so uh, sometimes you can see maybe uh, black winning but, uh, but white is most of the times forced to play sort of a dubious opening sort of a bad opening so that's why the only games that you see maybe that white is losing are maybe some grub openings or really some other bad bad openings that white is forced to play so what the other thing is that you have requested also on my youtube chess channel are some Berlin defense games uh, the Berlin defense is of course one of the best ways to beat maybe uh, your opponent's Rui Lopez preparation so that's why uh this is a perfect video here you witness really a great gameplay by the new stockfish 14 version uh in the Rui lopez from black perspective here stockfish is finally playing with the black pieces so let's check out now the game it was i think a very very instructing cool game here played by the fish uh, its opponent was uh, another top engine slow chess. it's around 3300 rated so it's still a decent opponent here for stockfish 14 so let's check out now the game so here e4 played by slow chess we have e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop to b5 the Rui lopez is on the board and we have now the knight and f6 move which is of course the burden defense uh immediately challenging the the pawn on e4 uh there are basically three things that white can do white can protect the pawn with the move d3 white can also play queen to e2 and white can castle which will be the so-called rio gambit uh if knight takes uh, e4 happens then of course white is breaking through with the move d4 then is trying to get the rook on the e file is challenging the knight so you would uh, i think uh, this position has been played millions and millions of times but here in the continuation instead of this move knight to e4 uh here slow just played the move d3 but it allows also uh, this move d3 allows always here black to play the move bishop to c5 which of course stockfish uh, did and you see now the burden defense is actually great because you're bringing many minor pieces out into the game so we have played only one pawn move which is a great thing we have played and we have played with three minor pieces already so it's i think really one of the best ways in the health way uh, to maybe play this Rui Lopez game because you're bringing your pieces out you haven't played many times with your pawns you're only one move far away from casting still you have opportunities to play move these d6 develop also the light score bishop so it's a perfect position as, as I said if you have trouble maybe to learn something against uh, against your opponent Rui Lopez the burden defense is perfectly fine so here after move bishop to c5 we have castling uh, by uh, slow chess we have now knight to d4 and I was wondering always why is black doing this move why is black playing knight to d4 why is black breaking a little bit uh, the basic principles in chess so why is black playing uh, with the same play, uh, piece twice actually there is a great positional idea about this move first of all uh, white will also break a little bit the basic principles in chess white has to also play uh, twice with the same piece either uh, white will take now uh, the knight on d4 or re will retreat with the bishop to a5 uh, to a4 or to c4 but there is a great idea about this move here in the continuation of the game knight takes d4 was played and after bishop to d4 what we can notice now in this particular position is that white is now lacking of defenders in front of the king so white has only now pawns as defenders so this is now very very uh very important to notice because this bishop is very dangerous it's aiming already towards the square f2 and now in the continuation after potential knight to g4 and queen to h4 you see black could create really a great pressure around the square f2 so that's that's why uh, I talked about this move. Why is always white uh, um, challenged by this move knight to d4? But do you see now the only pawns are in front of the king. So in some occasions you could really, really risk some tactical problems now in the continuation of the game when you're playing as white. So after move bishop to d4, uh, here slow chess has of course now the opportunity to kick away the bishop with the move uh, c3. The bishop get challenged, so that's why bishop to b6. And okay, white can break through now with the move d4. But what I don't like about this c3 line of white is that white has taken away now the natural square for the knight the knight would love of course to come on the square c3 then of course the knight could be maybe used in order to control the d5 square but still of course white gets a tempo but uh, the disadvantage about this move is as i said you have taken this square for the knight so here uh, d4 immediately by uh, slow chess slow chess is now challenging of course white's king uh, pardon me black's king uh, because when the king is stuck in the center then of course it's time to open the center because white's 
the king is already secure so that's why it's a natural idea in chess so here i've removed d4 uh here casting was played by stockfish um e takes d4 is not so good uh because uh, you risk this move um, e5 and then you have to maybe even retreat to g8 because if you try knight to d5 then you get queen to g4 you see this uh, pawn is already uh endangered then even if you castle then you risk some bishop to h6 idea so that's why taking out here uh the pawn is not an option here for stockfish so that's why stockfish first secure the king in the continuation we have now a4 here by slow chess even if white takes now in the center if white plays now d takes e5 again it's not so good because black can of course take out this uh, this pawn on e4 and still we have this pressure around the square uh, f2 uh, and this is now also weakness you cannot protect it with the move f4 you cannot create of course the space advantage on the fifth rank because you cannot support anymore this pawn so as i said in this particular scenario i think that black has already equalized the game so that's why it's not such a good uh, good opportunity here for white so that's why a4 uh here by um by slow chess now with the idea of course to lock the bishop with the move a5 so that's why here uh, a6 was played by stockfish 14 we have bishop to d3 finally protecting the pawn on e4 we have now d5 which is a great choice uh, by stockfish 14 we have said uh, that the white is lacking of defenders in front of the king so as i said this bishop is perfectly fine this bishop is perfectly fine the knight can come into the game maybe through the square g4 then the queen uh, can be also activated on h4 and what the outcome of this particular uh, madness in the center can be is of course an open center when you have an open center then it's all about peace activity and then i think uh even if everything gets cleared in the center that white uh is not in uh in some kind of an advantage because black still has this great activity with the bishop pair so as i said opening the position is actually a great choice here by stockfish 14 so after move d5 we have uh here e takes d5 if it right now d takes um um, d takes e5 it's not so good because you get this one you get now finally this move knight to g4 because finally now the knight is protecting and you see now we have already some uh tactical problems here around the square f2 and also around the square h2 if, if you should try something like here uh h3 then it's not so good you can risk this one this is really wild what can happen you can play now this move d takes e4 and okay maybe you can play this one but now after queen to d1 you see rook to d1 and now the pawn on f2 saying what you could do uh, is of course maybe instead of this instead of this move uh, h3 you could maybe here try this one um e takes d5 but again uh, this is now i think tactical loss game here for for black uh, pardon me for white because you see we have now the pressure around the square f2 and especially here around the square h2 where we already threatened some checkmates you can maybe try here the move h3 but now simple knight to f2 or bishop to f2 is simply winning the game so that's why uh here taking out uh, this pawn is not an option here for slow chess slow chess cannot uh take out the pawn on e5 because you're inviting your opponent's knight into the game so after move e takes d5 we have now queen to d5 the queen gets centralized we have now uh here this move uh a5 kicking away the bishop we have bishop to a7 and now uh slow just takes simply d takes e5 and after queen to e5 as i said we have now the open center and still nothing went wrong here for black because still black has a great activity both bishops very very active queen centralized the knight on a natural score so perfectly fine actually it's white that is is lacking in development because the bishop although still has a good activity but this knight we have said in the beginning um this the, the pawn on c3 took away the natural square for the knight the knight cannot be uh, included into the game through the square c3 so that's why uh, i would even uh, love to be here more black because of the especially because of this uh, piece activity so that's why here so far a great game played by stockfish 14 so knight to d2 you see with move you're developing the knight but you're blocking also out your bishop a little bit now it gives time here for stockfish 14 to activate the bishop bishop to g4 we have knight to f3 but actually the problem now this knight is pinned uh, here stockfish will use now this on the this easiest uh tactical tactical threat here the pin of course against the knight now the knight is a little bit stuck and if you want to maybe get out of the pin you have to play something like bishop to e2 and it will be sort of again loss of tempo so here after move knight to f3 instead of this move knight to f3 you could have tried maybe queen to c2 but it's not so good because of this one bishop to e2 i think again simplifies the game even if you take queen to e2 you see now the knight is a little bit stuck here you cannot move the knight because of the uh, pin by the queen against the queen so here black is much much better so after move 
knight to f3 uh, here queen to e6 was played by uh, stockfish 14 we have now h3 bishop to h5 and now knight to g5 here slow just is trying to simplify the game but actually uh, from this point on the game is uh, simply a one-way ticket here stockfish found a great tactic stockfish simply takes bishop to d1 we have a knight takes e6 we have now f takes e6 rook to d1 everything is pretty much forced but now with the move knight to d5 uh, here is again this problem around the square f2 and from this point on black is much much better what you can do is of course maybe rook to f1 uh, to protect this pawn but actually it's not possible because of this tactic rook to f2 rook to f2 and now this other rook will, will come into the game again we have the pin you cannot protect anymore the rook and uh, white uh, gained uh, white lost the pawn so it's a much much better position for uh, for black so here you could maybe try bishop to e3 but again knight takes e3 f takes uh, e3 bishop to e3 is again winning a pawn especially with this dark square problems again uh, black is much much better so that's why king to h2 you see now uh, stockfish won a pawn uh, in an early stage of the game with the black pieces although it's an open game although uh, white has also the bishop pair but still but pawn is a pawn if this game goes in into, into an end game then of course black is simply winning so after move rook to f2 we have rook to e1 rook to e8 protecting now this extra pawn very important move by stockfish we have now rook to a4 slow just plays a great uh, rook lift is trying to double up rooks attacking further the e6 weakness now we have c6 cementing the knight uh, we have uh, h4 bishop to b8 check we have uh, king to g1 again sort of a discovered check idea again with the bishop on a7 move here again king to h2 here slow just is hoping for three fourth repetition but again after move bishop to e8 king to g1 and now rook to f8 stock which is really really much better here the evaluation is over already minus one for black uh which is really wild when you think about it harder this is now top engine uh, uh level game but black is uh, obviously much much better uh especially when stockfish is playing stockfish always finds the best now tactical solutions in order to win the game so after move rook to f8 we have now bishop to e2 h6 uh, rook to g4 uh, there is now the threat of course of bishop to h6 so that's why king to h8 we have bishop to d3 uh, bishop to c7 attacking the pawn on uh on a5 we have rook to a4 so you see white is again forced to protect this weakness on uh, on a5 we have now uh, bishop to g3 attacking the rook rook to d1 and now uh stop pardon me my screen moved after move rook to d1 we have now e5 uh, bishop to g6 rook to uh, e6 attacking the bishop we have now h5 uh, king to g8 and now bishop to c2 here rook to e8 stockfish is trying now to advance the pawn further it's of course not possible immediately but with the move knight to f6 uh, of course the pawn can be supported and then if it, it may, maybe this pawn comes on the fourth rank maybe even on the third rank then it's a very very unpleasant and annoying pawn so after move rook to g4 uh, we have bishop to f2 king to h1 and now a great move because uh, here with this move uh, stockfish got rid of the bishop pair the main advantage that white had now uh, in the continuation of the game was the bishop pair but now after move bishop to e3 or oh, white doesn't have even that advantage now it's obviously a much much better uh, game here for black after move bishop to g6 we have rook to e7 uh rook to rook to e4 we have bishop to c1 rook to c1 and now knight to f6 and here e4 this is now a great pass pawns it's supported by the rook it's supported by, uh, by the knight now it's a completely completely winning endgame here for stockfish of course maybe in human level um, this will be sort of a struggle if i would have played here with the black pieces maybe against a stronger opponent i'm not sure if i won't win this game but when it comes to stockfish 14 stockfish always finds of course the best solutions as i said uh, here with move e4 it's a much much better position so king to g1 we have rook to e5 you see now uh, several targets here on the fifth rank uh, here in the continuation we have b4 rook to d8 rook to f1 uh, we have king to f8 of course stockfish is including also the king into the game which is very important in the end game stage we have rook to d3 rook to f5 rook takes f5 we have bishop takes f5 but now rook to c3 stockfish grabs another pawn and the problem is now you cannot even take out this one because again you get simply rook to c4 and you lose also this pawn so that's why completely completely winning endgame here for stockfish rook to c3 we have uh bishop to 
Uh, bishop to c8 now c uh, c5 uh, here uh, b takes c5 rook to c5 uh, here slow just takes out this pawn but stockfish can also take out this pawn and we have now two pass pawns which is really too much to handle here for this other engine rook to c1 we have rook takes h5 here stockfish grab is grabbing all of the pawns we have bishop to a6 and now rook to e5 supporting now the pass pawn we have king to f2 we have king to f7 including the king again into the game g3 uh, king to g6 bishop to b7 Knight to h5, king to g2. Here, Stockfish, of course, improves the position of the king. Rook to e2, we have now knight to g7. Rook to e1, uh, knight to e8. Rook to d1, knight to f6. Uh, here rook to c c1 king to g5 now it's time also maybe here to create another pass bone we have rook to e1 we have now uh, rook to uh, rook to uh, b5 attacking the bishop here bishop to c8 h5 here we have bishop to e6 rook to e5 bishop to b3 knight to e8 uh, bishop to c2 and now after move knight to d6 actually uh, black uh, pardon me white resigned so what's the idea of course you have to wait a little bit but i think here uh, it's it's okay black can always create another pass pawn uh, here king to f2 then maybe here uh, g5 h4 or g5 h4 so as i said maybe Maybe getting also this rook behind this pawn so uh, as i said in this particular position uh, um, white resigned so incredible incredible game uh, it was a perfect burden defense game by stockfish 14 uh, really wild stuff uh, as i said if you want to study something against your opponent through lopez the burden defense is perfectly fine and finally we got also a great game where black is wing i can i think we can uh, simply hang on to this um, opening by by stockfish 14 this is simply perfect play so i think we can use some of these elements in order to improve our uh, opening skills but also some uh, middle game strategies and some end game strategy skills here a perfect perfect game again by the fish so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot uh, if you want to see more brutal positional and more brutal tactical games like this check out my comment at chess games the best chess games played by engines here's the link and if you want to see humans battling it out in their best chess games check out my comment to chess games the best chess games of all time series and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course